The city is not taking any chances at Chrissy Field. Yeah, it's going to be tough for anyone to get around. KPIX 5's Emily Turner explains. We've seen free speech rallies and counter protests get out of control before, like this one in Berkeley in April. So with a three day weekend full of protests, many like Eileen Moore plan to stay far away. I don't know what to expect. I'm going out to brunch and avoiding and, and avoiding Chrissy Field by all costs and I'm avoiding Civic Center as well. But the city, park and local agencies are digging in. Barricades are already out at Chrissy Field. Barricades on streets will follow. Even SF General says it has a plan in place to deal with, quote, a potentially large number of casualties. And while this may seem like a lot, former FBI agent and KPIX5 security analyst Jeff Harp says you have to prepare for the worst while hoping for the best. It's better for them to be prepared than to be surprised. And I think the fact that um, SFPD is putting a barricade, I know the park police have worked diligently to try to prepare for the event. Um, park police is pretty good at dealing with these things. The Park Service has divided Chrissy Field and the Presidio into two zones. What you need to know is there will be no pedestrian, bicycle or vehicle access to Chrissy Field from the Golden Gate Bridge. Streets will be closed in the Presidio and in Chrissy Field. And the only way onto Chrissy Field will be from the east at the Marina Gate on Marina Boulevard near the Palace of Fine Arts. Also, keep in mind Muni has canceled Saturday service to Cow Hollow and the Marina. All of it is being done out of an abundance of caution. I hope that rational, rational reasonable people will actually decide who they are and what they stand for and what is right and what is the most tolerant and what, you know, follows the American ideal of everyone live and let live. We're allowed to be here. We're allowed to believe what we want, say what we want and move on and love each other. And one of the ways to look at this is as an opportunity, which Mayor Lee echoed in his own statements. This, this is an opportunity for the people of San Francisco to show that not only does San Francisco espouse free speech and open mindedness, but also the ability to do so and to, to show those ideals in a way that's peaceful and supportive of the First Amendment. Ken? Yeah, Emily, uh, so we have the prayer group people and then we have the uh, other protesters, the county demonstrators. Mm -hmm. have, have either leaders of either group talked to their members about? About these arrangements? As far as we know, the Patriot Prayer Group that will be in this area where I am right now has spoken to the folks that will be planning to show up, saying, if you want to come, be here early, because again, there's only one gate to get in, and that's over there off the marina uh, entrance. And they say, get here early, and that way you'll be able to get here in time. There's another group of folks who are against the Patriot Prayer Group, and we're told that they plan on paddle boarding just off the coast of Chrissy Field, because that way they say they can see the group that will be here here. Ken? All right. It's a plan. Emily Turner, thank you for that. The city will also close the big parking lot at the Marina Green, and we're learning the Jewish Community Center will cut off access to their parking garage at Presidio and California Street.